So you know, apparently, I wasn't aware of this, but there was some sort of like contractual agreement with YouTube that every sort of gaming channel needs to cover the forest. So hey, I figure, you know what, I might as well get mine out of the way now and let's cover the forest. And we have this little, relatively balding young boy holding my arm. What do you want? Man? Now I can't really... I can't lie, this actually cracks me up. <laughs> it's gonna do it right now, watch, watch, wait one second. Just do it. Does he have a rainbow on his shirt? It looks like a rainbow. Hey, he's got a rainbow. That's good for him. He's being open-minded early on in life. And, uh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh, but he is a flexible guy. You know, he should be, like, tried out for the Olympics. I think that's the reason why he gets kidnapped by these, uh, wild tribalsmen. They're like, you know what? This guy could kind of help us out in our, you know, upcoming Olympic Games in the, in the fucking forest over here. They belong in jungles in reality. And I hope it doesn't sound offensive. It's really not meant to be, like, you know, I understand that people could kind of misconstrue that a bit and be like, what do you mean they belong in jungles? What does that mean? Well, it doesn't mean anything. They just look like, you know, they're kind of, uh, equipped for jungle, you know, lifestyles. That's all I'm saying. You know what, in reality, that even sounds offensive to me. I'm not even sure why. What? It's a foot over here. Where's the rest of your body at? Huh. I guess you gotta put your first foot in to try it out, though, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure what that joke even means. All right, let's really go over here and grab ourselves an axe. Hey, hey, baby. How are you doing? Jesus Christ, what happened to your hand? That is completely jacked up. All righty. Ah, right, sweet. So there's a bit more uh, loot for me to actually kind of crack open over here. Get that. Is that a vibrator? Or no. What? The oh, it's just hairspray. It's a really interesting brand of hairspray. Just a brown fucking bottle. Interesting. Or is it really a bottle? It's more of a can in reality. I got a tennis ball. Hey. All right. You know what? Suddenly, life is not so bad because I can just kind of roam over here, stare at this boat that doesn't even move, and I have a tennis ball to throw at stuff. So, let's see. Can I just ricochet it off the wall and play here? Is that a star me? No, that's a star you. It hasn't evolved yet. Let's knock this over here. Yeah! Ball? I'm just gonna fucking hover over you guys like I'm a shark. Do 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 Doing it, doing it, doing it. Oh! Ah, oh, sweet, I got some vodka down there. Alright, excellent. So... Oh. <laughs> hey, guys! Uh, Alright. I think they spotted me. That guy seems to be kind of like, looking right at me. Are you cool? Nobody's here. Go away. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. You're still excited over the, ca the fucking plane crash. Alright. They're gonna leave. That's good. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. What is this supposed to be? I just picked up a oh, mud? What is- oh, this is for like camouflaging. So this is legit camouflaging, huh? Alrighty. So if I ever run into those guys, I could just kind of dive myself into mud and just be like, alright, cool. It's basically like Big Boss does in Metal Gear Solid 3. Alright. So, where the fuck am I going? What is this supposed to be here? This looks like the fucking Tree of Life over here. Am I gonna find Pumbaa over here and like Timon? Or not Timon and Pumbaa. Um, Simba. I guess I'll be Rafiki and I'll just hold a lion over the fucking cliff or something. So, let's actually get some food in us just in case. Cool. Um, maybe I'm thirsty, who knows. I could combine booze. What can I combine this for, though? Combine booze and booze? Does, I, does that equal, like, you know, a tequila or, like, an adios motherfucker? Like, if I combine a bunch of booze, would that happen? Not particularly. What about a soda and booze? Sometimes you can't just drink hard liquor, you know? You gotta mix it up. Alrighty. What happens if I just jump out of here? To be like Harrison Ford in The Fugitive. Okay, let's continue going on though. I'm fucking around a little bit too much. However, I know there's a, a bigger metagame to the game, obviously. Just one that I'm missing because, uh, you know, I'm an imbecile. So the shop is down. What was that running? Oh, this is. That's not. Nobody's running. It's just a, a seagull. Seagulls don't. Well, I guess seagulls do run. I, they prefer to fly though, considering they have wings, I would imagine. Just chop this down. Do my best Paul Bunyan impression. Did I gotta yell out timber or anything? So let's carry this log, and how many can I carry at least? Two. Okay, cool. Apparently I'm the world's strongest man, too. Can I carry three? Is that three? Is that three, or is it limiting it to two? Oh! Oh god! Hey! 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 Are you mad that I didn't yell timber? I'm sorry! What is- how come you have, like, a crazy... Why do you have, like, a ceremonial hat and these guys don't? Is that lady nude? Hey, baby. <laughs> You're coming all of it's too strong. Alrighty. I'm gonna just leave, guys, and you guys can just kind of go fuck yourselves, okay? I'm gonna go over here and build stuff. That's all I really want to do. Stop following me. Just leave me alone. I'm good. You guys are good. I'm good. Don't fuck with me. I killed this shark. 
You see this? That was me. What do you want? Alright, just come at me. What do you want? I'm holding the axe and I have a fucking dead shark next to me. Do you want to try this? I don't think you do. <laughs> yeah, the seagulls are coming at my side too. Yeah, you don't want to fuck with a guy with an axe, seagulls, and a dead shark. They are leaving. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm honestly surprised that even worked. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. And I was like, all right, whatever, cool. End of the video. Let's go to the shelters really quick, though. Um, hunting shelter. That's what we want. Uh, where do I want to place this, though? Um, I guess we just put it next to the dead shark. Apparently, that's a big deterrent for these guys to actually attack me or not. So, we'll do this like right about here. Place it. All right. So this requires sticks, and I have the rocks for it already. I have Dwayne the Rock Johnson for it. So let's put old Dwayne right there, and we need some logs. We need five logs, it says. That's a absurd amount. Are you falling over? Just fucking fall over already, man. There's like literally no more uh, foundation to your base. Ace of base with Marky Mark. Do you guys realize that Mark, uh, Mark Wahlberg doesn't like to be called Marky Mark anymore? Not that I blame him, I mean. It was kind of an old thing that he did, and, you know, I'd be kind of annoyed if I got typecasted myself, but, you know, it's part of what you used to be, man. Don't hide from it. So, let's see. We acquired some sticks. Um, we have... Whoa. What? Just attacked me. Did the seagulls just attack me? I thought we were friends. I... Do you understand? I am Falcon. You are Seagull. We are supposed to be Avery and, like, brothers or something. Alright, whatever. Fuck off. Let's knock this motherfucker down now and see how this goes for us. So basically, you know, we're just playing Woodcutting Simulator 2014 for now. Did another seagull attack me? Was this is a tree? That was probably the tree. Okay, I'm just drunk. I'm running into trees now. And apparently God's mad at me because the screen just, like, lit up in blue. So, um, we have a few things to look forward to here. Let's go back over here. There's a bit more wood for us to acquire, though, which is always a good thing. Especially when you suffer from erectile dysfunction. Alright, so we got that. I'm really impressed by this man's strength, by the way. Not only can he collect two logs on his fucking shoulder at one time, but he could actually even stop to pick up sticks and rocks on occasion, too. There's that fucking seagull who attacked me. You know, in reality, I thought that the tribes, people, the tribes people were mad at or, like, scared of me, like, next to that dead shark. In reality, they were just probably scared that the fucking seagulls were coming over. They were like, yeah, we don't want to fuck with those seagulls. We know exactly what they're capable of. All right. Yeah, are you going to break apart for me? No. <laughs> Give me the log. That's not a log, that's just fucking sticks. I was lied to. Alright. Well, um... Oh, oh god! Hey, 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 hey. What do you want? Do I... Okay, hey, 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 alright. Let's just do this. Let me just go back over here now. You guys are getting a little bit too friendly for me now. I thought we were cool. I thought you guys left. You were scared of the fact that I killed a fucking shark with my own hands. Look, if you guys want to learn about my culture, just, like, you know, come up to me like regular human beings and don't just fucking sneak up on me. Is that a person over there? Is that a log? That's no, a person. They're actually leaving again. I think they're trying to, uh, trying to intimidate me. And you know what? It's actually working quite well. Because I am a little bit terrified about what the hell they're up to. I don't know what they're up to. I can't really speak for the tribal's people mentality. Alright, so let's just knock down this tree. I really want to get my shelter up and running. That would be basically my end all goal here. If I could get that up and running, then I feel that I've beaten the game. And by beating the game, I do mean just cutting down wood for a while. But that's alright. That's a good start for a game in reality. Come on, just knock it down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop trying to cut me and cut me. At the very least, we will have a little bit of a shelter to sit down for. You know, a place for us to sleep. A place for us to call home. Meanwhile, we try to find my son, who apparently wears rainbow shirts and is the most flexible individual of all time. So, there you go. Shelter is indeed done. And, um, we still need three more rocks for the fire. Because Falcon started the fire. Yeah, right, let's get a little bit of jumping up and down action here, too. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's actually just call it an episode here, guys. I'm not sure if we're going to make this a series or not. I just wanted to fuck around with the game a bit. Um, you know. A few people were asking me if I wanted to cover it, and, you know, there he is. This is me covering the game. Um, it's mostly a lighthearted look at it. Nothing serious. Maybe I'll make something serious of it if there's, you know, any demand for it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I kind of did. It's not a bad game. But there's definitely a lot of things to add to it still. But again, alpha game, understandable. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Leave a like, etc., etc. I will catch you guys next time.
jump up, jump up, and get down. 